Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial where I show you how to set up admin commands on your server. So you want to start off by going to your browser, I use Google Chrome, and downloading two things. The first one is going to be Metamod. So you go to this site which is linked in the description. And once you're here you go to uh, Windows because I am on Windows. If you're on Mac, you go to Mac and Linux on Linux. And then you just click on one of these links, which is closest to you. And because I live in the Netherlands, this one is closest to me. It'll start downloading the zip, and that's already done. Okay, so then we need to download a source mod, which is this link, also in the description. And then you go to stable builds and just click the download button for Windows. It'll start downloading source mod. This one's a little bit bigger. And you wait for it to finish. Okay, it's finished downloading now. So, what you want to do then is open up your file explorer, go to your downloads folder, and it'll have downloaded these two files. They're both zip archives. You need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract these. I'm gonna assume you guys already have this. So what you want to do then is right mouse click, go to new, go to folder and name this whatever you like. And you click on these two files and for the second one control click and press control X to cut it. And then go inside this folder and press control V to paste it very straightforward and now you want to extract these so you click on one right mouse click extract here it will start extracting and we will just have to wait until it's finished okay and then the other one same thing right mouse click extract here and now once you open this one you'll see that source mod folder is in here and the meta mod folder so you want to copy these two folders it's just created. So you click on one and control click on the other one and press control C to copy it. And then go to the folder where you've downloaded your server. I've downloaded mine in D, servers, CSGO. And once you're in here, you want to open up CSGO again and paste the files in here. Okay, so it might ask you to merge these two just config folders. Just press yes. Okay, so after you've pasted the files in the folder, let's go ahead and open up your browser again. And go to the Steam website. Once you're on here, you want to log in. And once you log in, you want to hover over your name. Minus Viper. Go to Profile. And copy the page's URL. Open up a new tab, go to steamidfinder.com. This is linked in the description, as are all the other websites. And then in this bar, you want to paste in your URL and click on this little search thing. And it will come up with your Steam ID. Mine is blanked out because people can do evil stuff with this. You want to hover over this and press Ctrl C to copy it. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and close out of your browser. Go into your server folder, go into CSGO, into add-ons, into source mod, and into configs. In here, you want to open up admins underscore simple using notepad. And there's all this crap in here. You scroll all the way to the bottom, press two enters, paste in your Steam ID, and add in quotation marks, like this. Then go to the end of your Steam ID, press space, and add in two more quotation marks. And inside of these quotation marks, you want to type in Z. And then you want to go ahead and save the file. And close out of Notepad. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to go ahead and start up your Counter-Strike. And then you can go back to your server folder and start your server. You do want to make sure your console is already started up, 
otherwise you can't launch counter strike like I said in the previous video so now we just wait for the server to finish and yeah it's already loaded go ahead and go into your counter strike go to play to browse community servers go to LAN and click refresh and click connect so now we'll start loading up your server and I'll be back once it's done loading okay so I'm loading into the game now so after you've loaded into the game you can go ahead and type in exclamation mark admin in the chat to open up your admin panel you can do all sorts of fun stuff with this like slay people, gag people, ban players, mute players all sorts of fun admin stuff uh, to make it easier to do these uh, commands so you don't have to type an exclamation mark admin each time you want to open up your admin panel you can bind that to a key so to do that you need to open up your console you can enable this in help and options and game settings right here if it's no you go to yes and then you can open up your console so the default key for console is tilde which is above tab and once you've opened this up, you can type in bind, space, then a key, which you like your admin panel to be bound to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the dot, then space, then sm underscore admin, and press enter. So now each time I press dot, it'll bring up the admin panel, which just makes it easier. Okay, so for your friends to be able to use the admin panel, uh, you need to do pretty much the same thing you did by finding your ID. Go ahead and open up your browser. And go to the Steam site. And log in. And then hover over your name. But instead of going to profile, you go to friends. And right here you'll see your friends list. And then go ahead and find the guy you want to give admin commands to. I want to give it to Vodka Bear. So go ahead and click on his name and copy his URL then open up a new tab go to steamidfinder.com paste it in here click search and you'll see his ID which is also blanked out go ahead and copy that and open up your file explorer go back to your service folder and go all the way back to your configs folder open up admin simple again and right here after your ID, you want to go ahead and copy in his ID, add quotation marks, and another set of quotation marks, and Z. So now, Vodka Bear also has full admin permissions on my server. That's all for this tutorial. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you want to see more CSGO content in the future. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And yeah! That's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.